Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalhawk on Facebook. I want to show you today the break apart versus ungroup and then the merge. Okay, so let's go through here. Let's pick my little owl. All right, so let's pop him up here and get rid of those little marks on the side there. I don't want to deal with that. Okay, we'll pull him in here. Let's see, if I come up here, there is no ungroup, all right? But I want to get um, just certain parts of him because if I want to cut him in different layers, you know, I, I need to be able to have just the uh, chevron layer then just the eyes, the nose, and things like that. Okay, and if you go to try to pull um, a JPEG off of just the internet, you will probably run into this problem. Okay, um, that's why sometimes it's uh, kind of necessary to actually purchase an image. All right, because what you do is you're going to come up here and you're going to come in and you're going to go to break apart. Uh oh, the whole item disappeared, but you can still see it when you go over it. What you want to do, come up here to the paper icon, show outlines only, and there it comes. All right, and if you want to break this apart, you're going to have to make pages, okay, for your different colors. I don't know how many I'll have, so I'll just make four. Okay, I know that this one's going to be black, so um, all my black layers I'll send to page two. And I know that when I send them to page two, they will remain in the exact same place as they are on the first page. Okay, and then my white ones, uh-oh, that little bit of chevron is going to go with my white. So what I would need to do is I would need to get my knife, blow this up, okay, have to take my knife and carefully go and figure out where they are attached. And then you would need to cut them, okay, to separate them. Okay, so it looks like about right here. Let's see. Where else? So this is, I mean, it can be painstaking when you're trying to figure out where you need to cut to get this separated. And sometimes when you're, you know, trying to get an image, nope, and it's still not separating. So you'll have to work a little bit at figuring out where you need to cut. We'll go through there and keep working on that. Okay? <clears throat> Let me back this out now. So that would be what you would do is you would need to do uh, use the knife to cut that image apart. Then you would keep oops, sending your layers where they need to go. Alright? So that's how you uh, go about using the break apart to cut up an image that you cannot ungroup, okay, so that you can cut it. Then when you're done with um, all of the different pages, you also need to export them separately. So do page one, export it, export page two, however many pages you have, you'll have to export them separately. All right. Now um, with this, because with your show outlines only with it not checked, if you want to bring it back to the regular color or the regular, you know, how it normally looks, object merge, and that will bring it back. Because here are your other, these little dots go to page one when you bring them back. Come back up click merge, and there they go. 
Okay, so what I, what I usually tell people like with merge is that it's almost like a tattooing or a burning of the image into the background. <clears throat> so that's the difference between merge and union and um, how you use break apart to get your image um, to be able to be moved around. And sometimes it doesn't work perfectly. Um, so when you bring a JPEG off of the internet, sometimes it doesn't cut apart the right way or perfectly. All right. Um, sometimes you really just need to go um, either make up your own SVG or purchase an SVG from a reputable seller. Thanks, guys. If you have any more questions, just give me a shout on Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. Thanks a lot.